Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is show you guys the replays of yesterday's qualifier. So if you guys don't know exactly what we're qualifying for, so there's the Brawl Stars World Cup. It's been advertised in the game a few times. It's been in the Brawl Talk, I think, twice now. Um, you see updates on it in the news section all the time. The qualifier, the qualifier has just ended yesterday and it was the last attempt for myself, OG, and Tyrant Star who we haven't really played with before ever to qualify. Now we did need an emergency third player, so Tyrant Star did fill in. So shout outs to Tyrant Star for, you know, just holding it down. We've never played with him before. We've been scrimmaging a lot, practicing, and things are starting to look better and better each day we go along. So guys, we're gonna be showing you the video. So we faced IX, which is a really good team. They've played with each other for a really long time. So shout outs to Jack, Chepo, Cryman, and Slash. All three of those guys, they beat us. Both, not just in the first week, but also in the uh, in the third week as well. So huge shoutouts to them. We were put into the tiebreaker bracket, which is basically if we win, we qualify. If we lose, we don't qualify. What I mean by qualify is we qualify to the second phase. So how it works, at least in North America, is eight teams move on to the next round, which is phase two of the qualifiers. And then we face it all out. It's a bracket, one through eight, and the one team that wins the bracket ends up going to South Korea to play. So there was one more spot left, the eighth position, and it was between us and another team. I'm gonna show you guys the replays of it. So let's hop into it. Let's show you guys what happened. And let's just get the games rolling. Okay, so the first set is Bounty Shooting Star. I believe they banned Piper, and I think we banned Spike or Tick. I think we banned Tick. So Tick, Piper both banned. Um, there is an issue with the voice chat, so me, myself, and OG, or well, for OG at least, so OG wasn't able to communicate, it was just me and Tyrant Star, so I thought it was going to be going left, that's where Brock always goes, but OG wanted me to go more towards the middle, so we're all winning our lanes at this point, Tyrant Star is really pushed back, General Rommel, you guys can see uh, OG's lane is pushed back pretty far, and the lane that I have in is just hiding behind the middle, he can't go anywhere, you guys see the Brock did pick up his super, and he broke my wall, so at this point, I just walked to the left, and OG move more towards the middle since you know i'd rather just take the brock at this point if it's going to be open i have my super over here tyrant star is doing a great job on his lane it's really hard as a penny to get your original turret so it's a really big challenge but tyrant star is doing an amazing job of not feeding not dying any times uh, you guys are going to see i'm going to use my super sean's going to have 500 health and he's going to run away it's basically a stalemate at this point general rommel is being pushed back pretty far over here you guys can see tyrant star uses his uh Uses his super, you guys, his penny turned out finally. So we're a minute into the game here, it's still a stalemate, although we did pick up the first and very important star. So it is one to nothing for us. We can sit back and let them come to us, and that's what we plan on doing over here with our turret up. So there's still 40 seconds left. Tyrant starts hiding behind his turret so that he doesn't get pulled by the gene. You guys are gonna see myself and OG kind of just pinching brawlers. I have a good angle at the 8 bit, and he has a good angle at the Brock, so that's who he's shooting at, that's who I'm shooting at. Rommel switches sides, he's gonna go for a pull on us. We're able to tap and I'm able to get the kill on Rommel. OG's gonna put a turret over here. I'm gonna walk into that and because I walked into that, it gave me a little bit more power. I was able to get the kill on that Brock as well as I'm able to tap Rommel over there. I'm gonna shoot one, get Rommel and I have all uh, every single kill for our team so far. Great pinch over there by OG and Tyrant. Uh, OG's gonna be able to pick up another kill over there. Uh, we're able to tap General Rommel a few times. I'm not sure if we take him down. I don't think so. Tyrant went down. Tyrant went 0-1, but he did an amazing job this game. A lot of the kills were his tap. Uh, he like tapped them twice or three times, then his, or his mortar got a tap, and then we got the final few ones. So huge shout out to Tyrant. The game gave him star player. Very well deserving, especially when your penny on Gene is you can't. It's Gene outranges. He outpowers you. You just have to build your way to that turret, not feed, and that's exactly what he did. So let's move on to the second game, and let's show you guys what happened there. So here we go into the second game. We're going to be running the same comp, so are they. And same strategy, I'm just going to go to the middle. Tyrant to the right side, OG to the left. In this game we decided we wanted to play a little bit more aggressive and not just wait back and kind of make it a stalemate to see who gets the first kill because we know we outskill them, we know we can beat them. So we got a few taps over there on Rommel. We weren't able to finish the kill. Uh, OG got some really good taps over there and you guys can see they changed lanes. So they decided to have Gene go in the middle, Brock on the right, 8-bit on the left. I don't really know what prompt that change. But let's see if it works out for them. Because I'm in this uh, power boost turret thing, I'm able to get a tap on Brock, and I was able to kill him when he wasn't suspecting to die from that shot. I'm just chilling over here. General Rommel can't pull me. I have my super. I'm just waiting in a bush. Rommel's just chilling in that bush as well. I'm going to use my super. Unfortunate timing because he was already moving to the right. 
but it's fine doesn't really matter got the and got the map nice and open for us gonna take a shot at rama won't be able to hit it but i have two turrets to hide behind so i have absolutely no issue i can just hide behind these forever double tap on sean over there who is the brock so we have four stars over here very good start for us again we're just chilling in the middle we can see that the 8 bit slow so we're gonna get another tap on the 8 bit be able to pick up that kill and then we see rommel's getting a little bit aggressive over here so we're gonna walk up go for the tap on him we missed by like one tile which is unfortunate but that's fine we're able to pick up the kill over there and we have a really good super here since they kind of grouped up into one place we're able to get both of them and this gives us seven stars so we're just rocking it out over here og gave us turret so we're basically chilling here very very strong at the moment not much they can do to us because again if the gene tries to pull i can just hide behind a turret worst case scenario um i'm able to pick up a kill on the brock over there but again shout out to the tyrant he only has two stars again but he definitely did his work 20 seconds left i mean it's 20 to 1 you guys know exactly what's going to happen here we're going to end off winning it so at this point we're kind of just chipping away doing our own thing we know even if we get team wiped we'll still win so we're kind of just playing super aggressive uh, seven seconds left, not much that they can do. Just getting a couple more taps. And yeah, that's going to end the bounty set. So it's currently one to nothing in sets. It's three sets. I forgot to explain this at the start of the video. Three sets, best of three. Um, so yeah, that's the format. We're up one to nothing so far. You guys can notice also my cups are super low. This is my competitive account. I play on this because during tournaments, teams like to spectate you to figure out exactly what your comps are so they can counter us we know we're we're a top team if not the top team in every single tourney we play we don't really watch other teams and gain their comps like they do to us so we really don't want anyone to see so instead of removing everyone from my friends list because they are my friends i decided to just make a mini uh so i can a play with you guys and b have a competitive account where nobody can watch us and win like that so it's one nothing for us in the sets we're gonna hop over to the next set which i believe is gem grab let's hop into it and let's see what happens so on to our next game over here. We're going to be going into double swoosh, gem grab. The bands stay the same, so Piper and Tick are still banned. They're going to be going with the bow mid, a left side spike, which is a very, very good option, and a right side, well, I'm looking at from their perspective, a right side 8-bit. I know my sides, again, thinking about it from their perspectives. And we have a left side bow, a mid gene. You guys know I love to use the gene and a left side 8-bit. Um, OG's just going to respawn. He basically face tanks. He goes applies as much damage as possible if he dies he's going to be close to killing respawn and just get the kill straight away at this point again i'm in vc with tyrant i tell him i'm going to go sneak onto the 8 bit i'm going to be able to pick up the kill tyrant forgot about the new star power so he's basically going to get lasered um he's basically just going down i'm trying my best to stay alive over here and just to win his lane for him um the 8 bit's going to be able to put that turret which is going to body block so i'm going to have to move out of the way i have 46 hp i'm going to have to move back Tyrant's able to pick up the kill. I'm just chilling over here. OG's having a kind of difficult time winning his lane, but left side spike is insanely good here, so it's very understandable. The current lead for us is 6-4, to four, so it's looking pretty good. I'm just chilling in the grass. We know that there are mines over here. Uh, I'm just chilling in that top right corner looking for a pull. I'm able to pull their bow, get three shots off him, so I'm able to just hit one more little shot and I'm able to get my super again, but most importantly, we did get that kill. I'm going to be able to walk up over here, pick up 10 gems so anyone else can die outside of me, and get my super, which is super important, obviously. I'm just hiding behind this bush over here. Then I decide to move more towards the middle and just hide in the grass. Rommel's going to go down. They're 8 bits too slow to get anywhere near me. So that's just 2 1 game over, and that's going to give us the 1 to nothing lead. So again, it's looking really good with the 25 cup gene in comparison to my 1250 cup gene. But, um,. <clears throat> sorry but yeah it's looking really good for us um they are a pretty good team but we we just we scrim a lot we know exactly what we're doing and we were very prepared for this so let's hop into the second game let's show you guys what changed what did it let's just hop into it so on to the next double swoosh game they decided not to change anything and we decided not to change anything as well so so much for the changes um exact same strategy for both teams we're pretty confident in this one that we're going to be doing fine. General Rommel gets a bit too aggressive, so I start to pinch OG's lane a little bit. I didn't get a hit, but it forced him to go right into OG, and then OG was able to pick up that kill. Uh, OG's pretty low over here, so he's trying his best not to die so he can save his extra life. I go more towards the right side just to try and charge my super a little bit. Um, Rommel just chilling on the left, doing whatever. Basically RNGing OG down and the turret. OG's gonna die. He has his extra life. Rommel's aware of it, so he's gonna back up. 
Um, and OG at this point is just tanking it going forward. Myself and Tyrant, but mostly Tyrant's able to get that kill. The extra life's gonna come. Again, Tyrant forgot, but uh, Sean in the 8-bit didn't know where we were, so I told Tyrant, let's just go together. Let's two on one him, and we'll be able to pick up that easy kill. We're able to pick up the kill. It's six to nothing right now for us. We have control, and we have two, uh, now three gems in the middle. I'm able to get a pull over there. Gonna take him out really quickly. It was just one shot. And there's nine gems to nothing. Um, there is an 8-bit, though, who does have his, like, power-up thing. Um, and as well as the spike. So I didn't want to go into the middle, risk all the gems. I wanted to take our time. We have two really good lanes, plus a pretty good mid. So um, I just assumed that we'd be able to win one. Bow goes for the middle. I go right there, and I just get that pull. Basically a gem delivery. Didn't have to go to the middle. Just let someone bring it to us. And from here on, uh, we do pretty good. Tyrant is taken out almost. I think he got taken out over there. OG got taken out. I'm just trying to chip away, get my super over here. Uh, just so I can make sure nothing fishy happens. But Rommel comes towards me. We're able to get the kill. And that's going to give us the 2 to nothing set lead. So at this point, it's looking really good for us. We haven't dropped a game yet. We've been in the control for most of the games. So it's been looking really, really good. Let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go. We're going to move on to Pit Stop over here. And Pit Stop's a little bit of a tricky map, because I actually think it's pretty fast-paced. Um, unless it's on Ladder. At Ladder, it's more slow-paced than in uh, Competitive, which is really odd. But anyways, you guys can see we're, rock we're rocking a double tank. They're going with the Shield BB. You love to see it. Um, a Barley, or a, yeah, a Barley and a Bull. So we have Tyrant going towards the save, and then um, they're just tripling up the save. So Tyrant's doing a pretty good job. He has a 60% advantage. I go down. I leave two of them pretty low. We can't really affect the Barley because he's too far. Um, OG isn't able to pick up a kill over there. We're able to get Rommel and we're able to as well try and get the Barley. But we're going to die from a mix of the Barley shots and the Bubble. I mean, super fast game. Going to unload two more shots. And that's literally... We lost in 37 seconds. We just got destroyed that game. Probably shouldn't have done a base race. We know we're the better team, so we shouldn't be doing base races like that. Just stay calm, cool, and collected, and just take our time and slowly chip away and win that game. So let's hop into the second game. GG's to them, and let's see if we're able to turn it around. So going into the next game, we decided to make a change. OG didn't feel like he was being that useful on Primo, so I think he decided to go with the spike. With the OP Sakura spike, they're gonna chill with the straight with the same strategy. Um, and I mean, we're just gonna pinch the bull off the start, just like they're doing to our bull. We obviously have it way more effective since OG is a spike. Tyrant's gonna be over there just chipping. I'm gonna be able to take down the barley and get some shots off on the A, the BB, and B, the safe. So we're just rocking away at the safe. OG's able to pick up a kill over there on Rommel. I get my super, so I'm just gonna super the general area around the safe. Plus the safe, Rommel's gonna move forward which essentially is just charging my super again. I'm um, able to tap the safe a few times, charge my super. I almost got a kill over there on the opposing barley, but I wasn't able to do so. We have a 60, uh, well, now a 73% lead, so things are looking really good over here. Sean is going to hit his super on the safe and cover a good area. We're going to be defending over here against the BB. Uh, we almost got the kill. We weren't able to do so, but either way, we have two on the safe right now. Again, too much of a base race, but we're able to squeak out the win because of our really solid start. So it's 1-1. If we win this game, we win the entirety and get the last spot going into the second phase. Or if we lose, we're up 2-1 and we have to win one of the next sets. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. So going into the next match, we decided to save the C. We decided to stay, stay with the same strategy. And so did they. OG's going to go up the left side this time. I'm should and I'm moving a little bit more towards the left because I want to match with the barley. Obviously, spike on barley is a counter. This BB is getting a little bit too close. We're able to take it out, and I'm just chilling over here. I'm gonna go down, but it is fine since Tyrant has made his way on the safe over there. OG has a super, so he's gonna super Rommel. I'm gonna use my super just because I know I'm gonna get it back fairly soon since since he is a tank and it's gonna take me a while to take him out. Able to hit the last shot on them. They actually have the lead right now. They're up. 35% yeah they're up 35% so it's looking pretty good for them OG has this um has this BB kind of in the middle just on lockdown we have General Rommel moving up the left I went on offense OG being a defensive brawler is going to be chilling on defense got a super off on the safe um I don't know where Tyrant is to be honest though he's on the safe we're going off on the safe too the BB is going to be able to pick up a kill on Tyrant but we do have a wall here can't affect us and that is going to win us the game so this gives us the eighth and final spot but there is something odd now so ix was the original winners of the first qualifier sorry they ended up winning the third one as well but they won the first one but they actually got disqualified i'm not too sure 
but the reasoning of disqualification. But I know that they just had to play in it again. So they did get disqualified, which may, which gave Team Totality, which is a fairly new team, the number one spot. Now, the bracket is divided into a top half and a bottom half. In the first round, you're going to see Tribe and IX facing each other. Um, the bracket should be up on the screen right now. Um, so you guys can see, uh, you guys can see at the very bottom, Tribe and Ajax, which are two of the stronger teams, are going to be facing each other first round, which is obviously really good news for us, as we're not going to have to face one of the two of them. We'd only have to face them in the final if we get there. Now, I'd say our bracket is a little bit easier than uh, Ajax's or Tribe's since they have to face each other, but we're, we're going to meet in the finals anyways. Still definitely eight great teams here, so it's going to be a lot of hard work, but I hope we can make it to the finals and eventually make it to Korea. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you guys like the competitive stuff, so that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, and that's going to be it. I will catch you guys later. Peace.